Hey everybody, just wanted to share something really interesting with you here today. Um, I just came across something again. I read, uh, uh, I was reading a book about bears and uh, came across the statement that bears have really poor vision once again. And uh, I guess there's really no way to prove my belief that that's wrong, but I just wanted to offer some. Uh, I guess evidence is where I think that people are confused about how well bears can see and they compare them to deer. A lot of people think deer have really good eyesight and bears have poor eyesight, which the reality is in a way it's kind of the opposite where deer vision is just a lot different than bear vision because a deer is a prey species and a bear is a predator. So their eyesight, their vision is optimized for survival. They need different types of vision to survive. So the one thing that I wanted to do was answer the question that I hear all the time is that deer have these big eyes and they're in the side of their head so they can see really well and bears have these beady little eyes that they, you know, they're real small and they can't see very well because they have these beady little eyes. Just out of curiosity, I measured a deer skull, the eyeball opening in this deer skull, and as you can see, it's right at an inch and a half. Okay, so I've got two bear skulls here. One is a sow that was a mature sow. It came back from the teeth that it was uh, aged at 11 years old and uh, so it's a, a much smaller skull but as you can see it has uh, openings for an eyeball that's just right at an inch and a half. And then this second one is a large adult male bear um, and uh, this was aged, I think, at eight years old by the uh, teeth. And as you can see, it has eye socket openings of a little over an inch and a half. So what does this mean? Well, it doesn't mean that much other than the fact that deer and bears have about the same size of eyes. And the difference is that a bear's opening for their eyeball, for their pupil, is smaller than a deer's. A deer has a big opening and the reason for that I believe is because bears are pushing their way through really heavy cover a lot of the time and the smaller openings protect their eyeballs from sticks and branches and other things. You know when they're attacking or whatever when bears are fighting each other they need to protect their eyes. So I think that's you know my opinion is why they look so much different. The eyeballs are actually about the same size. It's just the pupil openings and the openings in their eyelids are smaller. And of course deer's eyeballs are more to the side of their head like all prey species and a bear's eyeballs are in the front of their head like most predator species. So let, let's this beady little eyes thing, so let's put that aside. They have about the same size of eyeballs. It's just the openings are different and the positioning of the eyes and the head. Okay, so the next thing is we know that deer do not have very good distance vision. Um, they have, there's been a couple of universities that have taken the eyeball of, of the deer apart. They've looked at the, uh, all the components to it, the rods and cones and, and everything, and while both deer and bear have tapetum lucidum, which is that substance that you see which makes their eyes glow at night, it's a reflection, so they can take more light into their eyes during the night time. It gives them a lot better night vision, so both deer and bear have that. But what they found with deer is that they see the red-orange end of the color spectrum that humans see very poorly, but they see the blue green end of the spectrum extremely well and then neither bear or deer we do know don't have a UV filter like human eyes have. So UV filter filters out some of the blue so we know that bears and deer can see blues way better than we can. That's a design that helps 
humans have better eyesight throughout a long life, a 70, 80, 90 year life where you know an average deer lives, I mean 10 years is really old for a deer, 20 years is extremely old for a bear. So they just don't need the protection from the UV rays, so humans have a UV filter and bears or eyes are designed without one. That's another thing that we've learned. So what they also learned about deer vision is that they have good nearsighted vision and poor farsighted vision and they also have a band of focus where human eyes have a real small area of focus and we believe that bears do too although there's never been bear eyes that have been dissected to prove this but human eyes have a point of focus when you look at something anywhere around you your your eyes focus on a small point where deer can focus on a band across there so they actually can see about 300 degrees there's only about 60 degrees behind them that they can't see another advantage uh, to, from being a prey species uh, that they can pick up movement well we also know that bears eyes can pick up movement uh, much better than a deer and uh, the people who did these studies at these universities have given the number I guess you'd say that bear they believe that deer have about 2040 vision so they don't see focus well in the distance but they see they focus better up close their their visual acuity is better up close where because the construction of a bear's eye is more like a human and uh, they do have good eyesight and I think a lot of people have seen bears that maybe you're sitting in a tree stand the bear looks right up at you and he's he doesn't react the same way a deer does a deer is a prey species and they're on the edge of panic all the time so if a deer sees you in a tree stand and recognizes you as a person he's out of there where the other side of this coin is that if a bear because he's a predator species he's not it living in fear I guess you could say all the time like a deer is he looks and sees something up in that tree stand and might even look like a human to him but he doesn't panic he's a predator and he reacts a lot differently so people interpret that as oh he didn't see me because he didn't run away well he didn't run away because he's just has a different demeanor and attitude all the time than a deer does so anyway that's just my thoughts on this you're free to disagree and certainly leave a comment below if you agree or disagree and uh just something i thought i would do is measure these deer's eyes and thought i would share that with you so thanks for joining me we'll see you on the next video